Welcome back. We are going to continue on with this lesson series here at countryguitaronline.com, learning how to play lead guitar all the way up and down the neck, and we're learning some really nice country and bluegrass filler riffs that you can add in between your chord transitions. <laughs> Like I mentioned in the course overview, we're going to start out at the most basic level and we're going to start out with the pentatonic scales. We're going to learn one position at a time and there are only five positions that you need to learn. And when I say position, I'm just talking about the scale shape, a, a certain location that you play, a, a one scale. So there's here's one position of the pentatonic scales right here. That'd be one position, and there are five of them, and they they navigate the neck. So there'd be first one position there. There's a second, third, fourth, fifth position type of thing, and we'll get into changing keys and all that stuff later. But it's really easy. You just need to know five shapes, and that's it. And we're gonna start out focusing on the key of G because the key of G is just so common in country and bluegrass. There's so many so many songs that have G C D chord progressions, and they're all in the key of G. Tons of them. So you can transfer all this stuff um, to all these other songs that you already know and you want to learn pretty easily. And we're going to start with the major pentatonic scales first. The major pentatonic scales, they can be used to solo or create all these riffs over the majority of songs. When you, uh, the minor pentatonic scales, those can be used over certain types of songs. And we'll get into all that stuff later too, but just know that the major pentatonic scales you can really use that. They're very common, really easy to use over most songs. So that's why we're starting with them. And we're going to start with the fifth position of the G major pentatonic scale. You might be asking, why are we not starting with the first position and going one, two, three, four, five in that order? Well, the reason is because the fifth position of the G major pentatonic scale is right here down next to the nut, that Y part, you know. And you play this fifth position of the G major pentatonic scale with the open strings, just like this. It's the position in the key of G that's closest to the headstock of the guitar. So we'll start in the fifth position, and then next we'll go to the first position. So it goes fifth position, first position, second, third, fourth and then the fifth position also uh, is played again. You can play it up here an octave higher if you want to. If you got an electric guitar, you can probably reach that, but we are going to study it down here today in this lesson. So let's start working on this position. Now here's a chart of the fifth position G major pentatonic scale. Not used to looking at these type of charts. Those dots, it's just gonna be where you're gonna press your finger down. The black dots, those are the root notes. If you're not familiar with the root note, a root note is the note that the scale is named after. So the G major pentatonic scales, the root note is a G. The D major pentatonic scales, the root note is a D. Same thing with chords, you know. A C major chord, the root note of a C major chord is a C. So it's as simple as that. And you can play these, these scales in any order, and that's when the fun comes in later once you get familiar with the, the positions, you can change up the order and the tempo that you play these notes. Yeah, there are tons of different stuff you can do. And then we'll add, later on, we'll add in other notes from other scales that make your, your pentatonic scale sound a little more country and bluegrass. And that's all coming in future lessons. But right now in this video, we're just gonna learn this scale position practice it and then I'll show you how to apply it to a chord progression so you can start having fun with it on your own. When I play this fifth position of the G major pentatonic scale I like to start on the root note and I do a down pick there first and as I play through this scale I use alternate picking so every other one you're gonna go down up down up down up just like this down up down up down up And that's the idea when you're first practicing this, you wanna play up the scale just like I did there. And then you wanna play back 
down the scale. And try to do it continuous if you can without stopping at the top of the scale. Just like this. So that's the idea. And one really important thing too, play this at a slow, slow tempo. Use a metronome if you need to. Slow down that tempo to slow speeds where you can play on each click, each note on each click. And then relax your right hand, and relax your left hand, and relax everything, really your shoulder, and play with a really quiet stroke. And make sure each, each pick stroke is clean. You're not getting any, any buzzing and stuff like that. So if you really focus on getting that nice clean pick and note, what happens is naturally your, your left and right hand just build up the correct muscle memory to, to have good habits later on. And all of a sudden, the speed and the volume come uh, without you even knowing it. But if you try to play it too fast, too loud, at first, you're gonna develop some bad habits. So slow it down, play it quietly, memorize this position to where you don't even have to think about the notes. And now let's get into applying it to a chord progression. And this is where the fun comes in. Let's do just a basic progression. We're gonna have two measures of G to start with. And when I say measure, a measure or a bar, those are pretty much the same. It's the same exact thing. A bar is a slang term for saying a measure. Because technically, a bar, like the straight up line on the piece of tab or music, that is a bar, but a lot of people just say bar instead of saying measure. And a measure typically is just gonna have four beats in it, just like this. One, two, three, four. So that's one bar. So we're gonna start out with two bars of G. And let's go through the progression, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with that right hand. Uh, two bars of G. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And then one bar of C. Two, three, four. Back to G for one bar. Three, four. To the D. Two, three, four. And then end it with G. So it's a six measure chord progression here. And with the right hand, we're doing this boom chick, boom chick pattern. Boom chick, boom chick, boom chick, boom chick. And the, the boom or the picks, are gonna be individual picks of those bass line notes and this alternate bass line that we're working with here. So let's play the G major chord. That's, that's the bass line. It alternates between the six string and the four string. Just like that. And notice that fingering with the left hand. I like using my left ring finger right there on the third fret, sixth string, and then my left middle finger on the second fret, fifth string, and then my pinky right there on that high E string. Pointer finger's not press anything. So I like to use that, that shape for the G major when I'm playing this progression because right now I'm in position to play this fifth position of the pentatonic scale with my left ring finger starting out on that, that root note. Makes it easier. So anyways, with the right hand, we got the picks of the bass line on the down beats, or the beats that you count the numbers. One, two, three, four. But then on the and beats, so we're counting out in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. We're gonna count that that way now. And on the and beats, we're gonna strum, do a down strum on the skinnier notes, skinnier strings. One and two and three and four and. And that's one bar's worth. So two bars of G to start with. And then we go into two bars of or sorry, one bar of C, just like that. And for the C, we're alternating the bass line between the fifth string and the fourth string. And after that one bar of C, we go back to one more bar of G, and then we do 
one bar of D. And that bass line for the D starts on the fourth string and goes to the fifth string. Just like that. Fourth string, fifth string, fourth string, fifth string. So that's the basic progression. Now let's start adding in these pentatonic scale notes, the fifth position of the G major pentatonic scale. Let's slow it down a little bit to start with. Let me explain, I mean it's super simple, it's just a really easy pattern that's going on. The first two beats, and let's now let's count out in 16th notes like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Nothing's gonna change with the right and left hand, but we're just gonna count it differently. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So that's one full measure there. But instead of playing all rhythm this time, let's do the first two counts. We're gonna do the rhythm like this. One E and a, two E and a. And then for the, starting with the three count, we'll do the little riffs. And we're just gonna do an alternating picking pattern on every 16th note. And we're gonna pick up just different notes from that fifth position of the major pentatonic scale. Three E and a, four E and a, one E. That's, that's a simple example right there. So here we go, let's slow it down. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Do you see that? I just went straight up the scale. Three E and a, four E and a. It sounded pretty good. There's, and let's go down the scale. no rules on how to play these pentatonic scale notes, the order of them. You can play them in so many different orders and that's what makes this fun. And eventually you'll, you'll start wanting to change up the tempo. You won't want to just do all picks on the 16th notes. Three E and a, four E and a. And we'll get into all that stuff later, but this is a good way to start getting used to adding this these rhythm fill riffs into your rhythm guitar. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Just experiment with the order. Same thing on every chord there. The first two beats is the rhythm. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, C, C, uh, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, G, D. just straight notes from that pentatonic scale. It'll, it's kind of fun to, to practice and, and get familiar. It'll give you all something that's fun to work on instead of just playing the, the straight scale all the time. So that's going to be it for this lesson. Here in the follow-up lessons on this series, the, I guess the very next lesson, we're going to expand upon the fifth position of the G major pentatonic scale a bit more. We're going to add in some other notes from other scales. It's not going to be too complex. We're going to start out slowly and uh, I'm going to explain what other surrounding notes goes with this fifth position that will make your guitar and your, your riff sound more country and bluegrass. That's the goal. I love the sound of these country bluegrass riffs. <laughs> like that.
know, there's there's lots of stuff you can do. It's going to be fun to keep moving forward with the, these techniques. If you have any questions on this, just drop in the comment box below this video. But other than that, have fun practicing this for now, and I'll see you all at the next lesson in this series.